Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Quality. In today's session, we will see uh, detailed aspects and various components about the Informatica Data Quality Developer tool. Like what is the mapping, what are the maplets, so those are the things we are going to see in today's session. So let's start today's session. In today's session, we will see how to create project in Developer tool. Uh, how to configure the physical data objects we call it a pdo in idq terminology we'll understand what is map maplet mapping and transformation we'll see what are the ways to troubleshoot the issues and we'll see how to search the content in the idq developer tool so before going to deep down so we should we should have the like little brief view about the repository project and the folders so what are the components we do create in the developer tool that are get stored in the physical database we call it's a repository and on that repository on top of that repository we create the project so projects are the highest level container for the metadata so we store the metadata into the repository we call as mrs or mrm and the the highest level in that is nothing but the project project can contains objects or we say a folder we can see as a folder but in idq terminology we say it's a object folders can be nested means we can create subfolders also like as shown in this picture repository is the way the metadata is maintained and in that we create the projects projects are the highest level in the project we create the sub uh, the directories or the object and we can create the sub directories also inside those objects or those directories the first object is nothing but physical data object that is called as a pdo so what are the source system or the source and the targets are there those are nothing but the physical components and those physical components are stored as a physical data object it represents the native metadata in the physical data sources and how it is accessed in the developer tool. Physical data objects are used as a source, target, or the lookups. So lookups can be anything. So what are the reference tables we have? We say it's a lookup. So what are the physical data objects? Those are treated as either as a source or target or the lookup tables. Relational tables are organized by the connection name. For example, if we have the customer table or the address table in the relational database, that can be uh, used as a source table. Or you can create the uh, custom tables or we can use the existing table as a target table also. Connection names are based, are based reference. So that means what are the name we create. So it is just a logical name. The actual physical table will be pre present in the database. We are going to give the logical name or it is called as a reference and that reference will be used while creation of the mapping or the maplets mappings a mapping reads data from the sources applies transformation logic and write the output to the target so whenever we say mapping so three components comes into picture for this source Second is what kind of transformation logic we are going to apply on the data. And the third is target. So mapping is nothing but use of the source, trans use the logic for the transformation on the data using transformation and get output in the target table. So that is nothing but the mappings. Mappings are used to define the data quality as well as integration process. So what is data quality? We, we do standardize or eliminate the noise uh, noise characters. We achieve the a good quality data by removing the null values data. Or we can achieve the percentage of the quality. Like the if you are going to make the data for the first name, last name in the up camel case, like the first letter capital and then lower case, something like that. So we can achieve the standardization also. So specifically, these mappings in the IDQ are used to achieve the uh, data quality. Mapping elements. So physical data object as a source and target 
can be a physical file, a physical flat file, or it can be a database. The mapping also involves the transformation as I discussed to clean, standardize, and the, to also achieve the matching of the data to avoid or to come over the duplicacy. The next thing in the mapping is a reference table. That is nothing but a lookup table to achieve the lookup transformation. And this is to validate, parse, and enrich or also the enhancement of the data. So these are the various elements of the mapping. Next thing, maplets and rules. So in IDQ developer, we say maplet or rule, but in the IDQ analyst tool, we say it's maplet as treated as a rules or there's some which guidelines we define to standardize the data. Maplets and rules or it is a reusable object it containing a set of transformation that we can use in multiple mapping. So predefined rules or predefined maplets are used in the mapping. So we can create a common element or common mapping or we can say common mapping which is nothing but uh, a set of common definition which will be used across the different mapping. So such a component it calls as a maplets. Use a maplet in a mapping or validate the maplet as a rule and use the inform use and use in a informatic analysis. Rules that were created in analyst tool will appear as a maplet in the developer. So it is vice versa. If you create maplet in the informatic developer tool, that will be displayed as a rule in the informatic analyst tool. If you create a rule in the analyst tool, that will be displayed as a maplet in the developer tool. When we use a maplet in a mapping, we use an instance of the maplet. So that means we are not going to run the maplet. We cannot run the maplet itself. In order to run that, we have to use the maplet in the mapping. So that means it is an instance of a maplet. It is not actual maplet. Changes made are inherited by all the instance of maplet. Suppose you want to, suppose this is the case where you want to uppercase the first name, uh, first name column. So in that case, you can use that ma mapping instead of using maplet, you can directly use in the mapping. But the thing is that if you want to make this change, first name, uppercase change in multiple locations, so you have to make manually those changes everywhere. But of but if you use the maplet to make uppercase, so no need to change every place. You have to just update the maplet. So a single change in a maplet will be reflected everywhere in all the mappings, wherever it is used. The example of maplet is, so you can see the example here. We have the source, like read customer detail is the source. The target is target is write address validation, something like that. So this is source, this is a uh, target. So, and in between we have the maplet. So maplet is something which will validate and or standardize the data for that ma maplet. So this whole thing is called as a mapping, which have the source target and the in between transformation using maplet. So this is called as a mapping. Particularly in this case, if you expand this maplet, it is having the source target and in between it is using some transformation like address validation or match code, etc. So it is just expanded. So ma mapping is nothing but in it uses the maplet and maplet uses source target and it's a transformation. So it is, it is mentioned source and target data defined outside the maplet. The maplet input transformation passes the data from a mapping into maplet and maplet output transformation passes the data from a maplet into a mapping. So that it means whatever the output is uh, output from the maplet will be available to the mapping that will be sent to the target. So these are the things about the maplet. So we can say maplet is a subset of mapping that is also a valid thing. The next thing is content set. It is used to achieve out-of-box functionality. Suppose if, if you want to do something which is not present in the IDK tool, you want to some out-of-box functionality, then the content sets are used. A content set is a model repository object that can be used to store reusable content expression. So kind of rules will be stored. It allows sharing of custom set extra 
expressions which will increase the reuse of design and art design artifacts the content set is a expression that can be used in the labeler and parser transformation so when which we are going to see very soon this is used to identify data and include character set pattern set regular expression and token set etc particularly if you are aware about any other programming language where you have used expressions then this is the content set is kind of expression in the idq tool content expression such as asterisk uh, asterisk or and signs and the hash and using those things etc transformation this is the one of the granular component in the mapping it is actually used to transform the data for example if you want to make the uppercase you can use the uppercase transformation so there are all there are several transformations available we will see shortly the uh, the data passes from input port through the output port in a mapping or the maplet so that passing the data from the source to the target through the ports that is done through the transformation by using this objects we can modify the data or we can pass the data or even generate the data as well so yes we can generate the data using transformation it is possible reusable transformation can be used in the multiple mapping or the maplets so we can create a reusable transformation also and we can use those in the mapping and the maplet all instances in here inherits changes that means if you make a single change in the reusable component reusable transformation that will be automatically inherited in wherever it is used now the next thing is data view it is the one of the component or one of the view in the developer tool if you want to run your maplet or mapping at particular instance and you want to see how the data looks like you can check that in the data preview so that you can quickly run the mapping and say the for example you are doing the uppercase instead of running the actual mapping you can just quickly uh, check the data preview whether it is correctly working or not and then and then when it, it is kind of testing you can do before running the actual mapping troubleshooting error display in the output view so in the developer tool there is output view or you can have the progress bar one which you can you can click and check the error messages the detail error analysis can be done using the log files so of course log files are the ultimate or the best way to analyze the issue but at a broader view you can see the error in the output view the informatica idq developer tool also have the search functionality to search the various components in the idq search function can globally access to the search element present in the workspace or the repository we have the cheat sheets also uh, it is a wizard actually which helps to create mapping by executing several steps so you have to just execute this you know, just click click next next kind of thing uh, which will create the mapping you have the step one step two and several steps so these are the details about the informatica data quality developer we will shortly have the demonstration on this uh, whatever we have discussed or we can have those in the upcoming video uh, thank you for watching my video on the idq if you have any questions or uh, queries you can mention in this video below comment section of this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the idq Thank you and have a nice time.